All right, guys, it's Jernigan here. Even the Australians are protesting about uh, George Floyd's death and number nine News Australia. So we're going to play the video now. Number nine. Okay, so this is Australian News. If you're from Australia, you'll like this news. Who knows? Lexi, a good evening to you. You're in a big protest on the move at the moment. Yeah, that's right, Davina, and uh, right now as we go to where the curfew has been in place for It said Australia minutes, news, now it's saying Los Angeles news. It doesn't make any sense. They are still, as you can see, marching through the streets of Los Angeles. We've got people chanting just alongside me, um, George Floyd. So, look, this is uh, very much still a protest underway, but, Davina, it is a peaceful protest. Um, they, there have been police that are trying to box them in. It's sort of like they're trying to get them, in, get them into certain areas to try and get them to dissipate because of the curfew. Um, but it has, as I said, it's been peaceful. They've been, um, they've been chanting and all that sort of thing. We saw a really powerful moment earlier on up on Sunset Boulevard whereby um, there was an, another demonstration going on and the police commander arrived. Um, he wasn't expected to be there. He just walked up Sunset Boulevard and he was handed a megaphone by one of the protesters uh, and, and he, he spoke to them and he essentially said that he needs their help. He wants to hear their views, he wants to make peace, but he said he doesn't want any more violence on the streets. And it was this wonderful moment after that where the protesters were chanting, telling him to take a knee and the commander took a knee with all the protesters. Um, it was very, very powerful um, and I had a chat to the police commander afterwards and here's what he said. Well, this is an opportunity to front load. I mean, the other day things got out of control quick. We kind of lost our grasp early. This is an opportunity on the front end to uh, make peace, make events, to uh, share our emotion, my personal emotion, and hope we don't return to what happens every day. Like, we don't want this to happen again. This is heartbreaking for all of us. And what we saw as well here is that protests can be peaceful and get their message across. Yes, uh, in America, protesting is great. You know, this is the land of the home and the free. You know, this is the glory days, the promised land. Uh, the land of hope and dreams. So we want people to protest. We want the freedom of expression. It's so important to us as Americans to allow that. And we have the obligation to provide the opportunity for people to protest naturally as they should without violence. What is the solution? Well, the solution is that we need to break bread. We need, the solution is we need to continue collaborative efforts. We need to sit down and continue to listen, to continue to pour our hearts and our souls into the expectations of our community who we serve first. That has been going on for the last three decades and that will continue to go on. And Davina, um, I might add that uh, as we go to wear right now, there are still um, numerous shoppers up in the air, um, and I'm sure they are keeping a very close eye on this march. Um, the night is young, it's not even dark yet, and we have seen on previous days that obviously things can escalate very, very quickly. Fingers crossed tonight, that doesn't happen. Protesters are on the march, actually, right now uh, through Los Angeles. Uh, this march that um, we're walking with at the moment. Uh, we started started sort of back in Hollywood, and they're now moving south. Um, there are we're estimating some thousands of people marching through the streets. It's a peaceful demonstration, and I have Matt with me, who has been marching as well. Matt, um, um, well, thank you. Just tell me um, why you wanted to be part of what's happening here today. I felt like, as a black man living in America for the last over the last thirty years, and I don't even live. Um, I'm not originally from Los Angeles, I'm from Chicago, and um, when I drive home at night, I'm scared to get pulled over by the cops. There's times when um, I don't want to leave work at a certain time because the cops in my neighborhood pull me over for no reason at all. Um, I'm tired of it, I'm sick of it, um, I'm trying to do my best to be a part of the movement, you know, um, we have been here before. Unfortunately, I feel like we might be here again in the future. So the systematic racism that's in this country and of America, that built America, it doesn't acknowledge the, the value of black people. And if I can come out here and just show my support in any way and um, really just make it an effort to be a part of this cause, then that's that's what I'm gonna do. Um, we had a, we saw a moment up at another peaceful protest up on Sunset where the police commander knelt with the protesters. Wow. Do you think those moments are significant? Do you think they make a difference? Yeah, because I think that you know every step is a step forward, even if it's a little step. 
and it shows solidarity that not all cops are bad, um, and that the police departments all across America recognize that this was wrong, this was unjust, and that uh, those four individuals don't represent the whole of the police office. But it shows some type of um, solidarity, and um, that's important. Well, that was the news on that, guys. Hope you all enjoyed it. Give it a like, give it a comment, and share it with your friends. And uh, yeah, I should be back in the next stream. Peace. Thank you for joining. Peace.